A tēnā koutou katoa e ngā iwi, e ngā reo, e ngā mana, e ngā mātā waka. Kei inoi tātou, let us pray. God of love and liberty, we bring our thanks this day for the peace and security we enjoy, which was won for us through the courage and devotion of those who gave their lives in a time of war. We pray that their labour and sacrifice may be not in vain, but that their spirit may live in us and in generations to come. That the liberty, truth and justice which they sought to preserve may be seen and known in all the nations upon earth. This we pray in the name of the one who gave his life for the sake of the world, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Tēnā katoa. Welcome to today's Anzac Day commemoration. 
Anzac Day marks the anniversary of the first Gallipoli campaign that led to major casualties for Australian and New Zealand forces during the First World War. Ceremonies and their meanings have changed since 1915. And today, Anzac Day is a national day of remembrance in Australia and New Zealand to commemorate all Australians and New Zealanders who served and died in all wars, conflicts and peacekeeping operations, and to commemorate the contribution and suffering of those who served. Like Anzac Day, our memorial on the corner of Hill Road and Great South Road has also seen changes. Prime Minister William Ferguson Massey unveiled the Manodawa First World War Memorial on the 2nd of January 1921, some 101 years ago. It was inscribed with the names of campaigns in which New Zealanders had taken part. The text, their names liveth forevermore, and greater love hath no man. And the names of 26 men from the district who had given their lives. The population of the Mararewa Town District, as recorded by the 1916 New Zealand Census, was just 430. 26 men from a district of 430 people. Most of us today have no personal experience of war. We cannot even begin to imagine what it would have been like for a small community of 430 people to lose 26 men. And we are fortunate. For people within our community who have family and friends in Ukraine and Russia, the horrors unravelling are very real. And we cry out with you for the war to end and for peace. Later in 1921, the gates were built at the entrance to the school and on Anzac Day 1924, a memorial tablet was affixed to one of the four concrete pillars, reading, Manurewa District, in memory of those who gave their lives in the Great War, 1914 to 1919. The passage of time saw additional memorial tablets added to the pillars of the memorial gates. Manurewa District, in memory of those who served and those who gave their lives in the Second World War, 1939 to 1945. Marudewa District, in memory of those who served and those who gave their lives in the wars in Korea, Malaya and Vietnam. It is important to acknowledge Anzac Day commemorations encompass service in all wars, conflicts and peacekeeping operations, including Afghanistan, Iraq, the Solomon Islands, Bougainville, East Timor, Namibia, Cyprus, Tonga, Fiji, Cambodia, Somalia, former Yugoslavia, Lebanon, Rhodesia, Kashmir, and the Boer Wars and the New Zealand Wars. It is important to include these service men and women in our memorial. So on this Anzac Day, 25th of April 2022, we add Manurewa District in memory of those who served and gave their lives in all wars, conflicts, and peacekeeping operations, and to commemorate the contribution and suffering of all those who served. When you visit the Cenotaph and Memorial Gates on the corner of Hill Road and Great South Road, know the memorial has stood in Manurewa for over 100 years. Know the Cenotaph, gardens, pillars, gates, and space in between are all part of the memorial and remember. This moment, this hour, this day, we dedicate to those who gave their lives and to those who served so that we may live in peace and give thanks for their valiant service in defence of our freedom, lest we forget. Te maunga e ngā ana hira pono e te tokotore tapu, kia tatu mai anō koutou ki wanganui ki tēnei whakamoimati o mātou. Hei tātari e ngā kupi katoa e whakapua ki nā nei e mātou i roto i to koutou kororiatanga. Ko koutou nei hoki te timatanga me te whako o te ngā mai o a mātou tu mana ko atu nei i roto i to koutou kororiatanga. Ko te maunga e heitou tuku mai ai e nei aki nei ai. Ai. E te mōrehu e whakai ana rā tātou ki te tāpai atu i o tātou hi katoa. Kia tahuna atu ki te ahi, kia pungarehu atu nei. Ai. Kanoha anō i runga i te ngā kauri penita. Kia whānau hau ai i roti i te wairua nē. Ai. 
e te maanga e ngā nehero pono, kua rongo iho nei koutou i tō mātou reo tāpai ripeneta, nō reira i te kai kia hoa atu a mātou whakamoimati ki o koutou aro aro, moa koutou mā nākitanga i whiwhi nei mātou mā o ngā rā ki muri tainoa mai ki tēnei rā, ke ino i atu nei mātou kia whakuungia mai tō koutou aroha noa, ki runga kia mātou mā ngā wakatoa. Ko te maanga e heitou toko mai, ai anei, aki nei, ai. Put on the whole armour of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armour of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. As the Father loved me, I also have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may remain in you and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, than to lay one's life for his friends. You are my friends if you do whatever I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for a servant does not know what his master is doing, but I have called you friends for all things that I have heard from my Father I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. These things I command you, that you love one another. Te whetu o te ata Tiro mai ki tō iwi e noho nei Hua ki nā mai e koe Te ngā kau te mana wā hua rahi
through the gift of our geography, New Zealand is the first nation in the world to commemorate Anzac Day. And here in Aotearoa, New Zealand, we have the first of the dawn services and the morning services that follow. For the next 24 hours, as the fingers of sunlight look around the world, other Kiwis and other places also pause and stop for Anzac Day. Some are working, some are do a hasty stop on patrol or a quick break. Others attend a service someone else has organised and some organise their own. My karakia, my wish for this Anzac Day is that all those Kiwis and the hours to come after us, they too enjoy their service with just mana, with the respect they give it, in the same safety, same whakawhanangatanga and the same security in which we've enjoyed ours today. Come here. One one dash one eight nine one Trooper Edgar Brown three O seven three nine Private Henry Butterworth one O nine nine eight Rifleman Joseph Chitty two bar two six zero zero Gunner Walter Richard Costa, Military Medal. 48457, Private Reginald Ernest Costa. 70094, Private William John Dawson. 56568, Private John Duncan. Australian Army, Trooper Stanley Edmiston. 24 bar 145, Rifleman Duncan Reed Fraser. 42318, Private Frederick Andrew Galloway. Australian Army, Private Thomas Harris. One two bar two o two seven. Private Arnold Ernest Matthews. Two one zero five five. Rifleman Herbert John McAnally. 25922, Rifleman Frederick Thomas McLarnon. 13 bar 3185, Corporal Keith B. Moore. 12 bar 799, Private Reginald Frederick Morton. One three bar five five nine Sergeant Lewis George Munro One three bar one one seven Trooper Percy George Palmer One three bar five six one Trooper John Sutherland Patton One seven four four six Trooper Her Carol Henry Sandford. 26928, Private Frank Slade. 33469, Private Cecil Horace Slight. 1-3-4-6-9. British Army, Lieutenant Eric Hardwick Taylor. One two bar two five one two, Private Alexander John Whitburn. Two two bar two eight four, Private Her Herbert Whitburn. And finally, the unknown soldier.
E kore rātua ka matua tea, peni o tātou kua mahi o inei, e kore hoki rātou i noi kore. Ahokea pia, ana ahotoa inga atua, i hiki nga atua o te rā. Tai noa ki te aranga mai i te ata, kauma mahara tonu tātou ki a rātou, kauma mahara tonu tātou ki a rātou. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not worry them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Kei noi tātou. Kia hora te māri noa, kia haka papapau nā mutu moana. Hei huarahi mō tātou i te rangi. Aroha atu, aroha mai tātou i a tātou katoa. Haumie, huie, tākie. May peace be widespread. May the sea be like green stone a pathway for us all this day. Let us show respect for each other, for one another. Let this bind us all together. Amen. <laughs>